and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for another expedition. These are just so much fun. Uh, we're going to be doing another one because it's a brand new week. It's uh, Tuesday, the new the start of the week for Legends of Runeterra. Um, these are just basically their drafts. Um, and if you you know no magic like we're playing a draft here but they they have a twist like you get to exchange out cards between your your matches and everything like that you play till you win seven or you lose two in a row except for the very last match you only get one shot uh we've been doing these daily the last three days but you only get to do three a week um we're doing another one today because we want to get them done right away so because we get rewards afterwards you always get a champion and champions are very valuable in this game and uh then after this we'll have you know we'll see what rewards we get so we have more of a collection and then we're going to start spending some wild cards today and start building some tier one decks or at least close to it i don't really know where to find tier one decks to be honest um haven't figured that out yet if anybody in um <laughs> thanks kakuna i haven't really figured that out uh yet if anybody has some suggestions but here we go let's em embark um, we're going to use, we have a, we got a token to do a free draft for our weekly rewards. So we get to do that every week. So we get our free, uh, expedition. Um, of course the expedition has two trials. You get two drafts, you get two chances to try to get that seven win. Oh, I didn't have this up. Um, there we go. That was yesterday's stuff. There we go. All right, so who are we going to be? We can be Thresh, Katarina, or Garen. We can choose a champion. So Thresh, 3-6 Challenger. I've seen six units die. Challenger, of course, is uh, a great ability. You get to choose who you want to block. So if they have, like, a cool 2-2 two -two or 3-2, or, like, you know, 3-3 three -three or something, you're like, no, you have to block. First time I attack this game, summon another attacking champion from your deck or hand. Thresh is pretty awesome. Um, oh, thanks, Pit. So we'll take out. We'll take a look at some of that stuff. <clears throat> okay, you want to one hundred percent trust it? Gotcha. It's it's okay, Kakuna. Um, I'm not really planning on going back to Magic real soon. I'm still giving this new game a shot. This game's just really cool. I'm hoping it kind of catches on a little bit more. All right, let's see. We have Ethereal Remitter. Play, kill an ally to summon a random follower from any region that costs two or more. It's actually pretty strong and then play kill an ally then revive it so you know we have our self-sacrifice theme to go with thresh all right or we could go katarina with arena battlecaster and whirling death and whirling death is awesome that's a great card so um this is a pretty strong one and i i i like katarina i think katarina is pretty good honestly So I like I like this middle one, Battle Cat, Arena Battlecasters is a good solid card too, and this you know you can go like a lot of directions. Noxus pairs with tons of good stuff, or we could go with Garen, and Garen um, has this Chain Vest, which is not good. So that's not a good card, and this Vanguard is a good card. Um, yeah, the Vanguard's good, but Garen, you know, it's with Demacia. In their in their patch notes, they said that Demacia had a good win rate and everything. The thing is, like while Garen's strong and the yeah the Vanguard's good, but I really don't like this chain vest. I don't like that card whatsoever. Don't like that card whatsoever. Um. So it looks like everybody's voted for the, the Thresh package. And I've I've honestly never played Thresh. So that's something different. I've played tons of Noxus uh, aggro decks. And I, I honestly would be very confident in doing well with this Katarina. But I guess we could try something different and go with the, this Thresh package and try try this 
Shadow Isles, kill our own stuff. You know, self-sacrifice. That does sound pretty cool. So everybody's going for that. So let's go with that. So we can pair that with either Ash and pair it with Frostbite. Ash is all about frostbiting a whole bunch of stuff. The thing, so I don't know. I don't think that's a great pair. We can pair it with um, Iona, Ionia. Man, I'm you know I'm five days into the the game now. I'm really starting to get used to this stuff now. All right, we got Karma, which I I really like Karma. I think Karma is really strong. Um, other people don't like it as much. We got the updated up. Upgraded Jeweled Protector. You can see it's a 4-4 now. It was a 3-3 yesterday. Now it's a 4-4. Navori Conspirator is just awesome. I wonder if... Does Recall it work with Sacrifice? Maybe not. Or we could go Heimerdinger. I have never played a Heimerdinger deck. But Heimerdinger wants you to play tons of spells. That doesn't seem like that really meshes with this theme either. Um... Yeah, Heimer, Heimer is pretty awesome. Yeah, Thresh, Thresh and Heimerdinger don't seem to mesh. If that makes sense. I don't even know what that means. Transform a follower into another follower? So, like, they have to be on the battlefield, I guess. And you just change one, one like, you know creature on the battlefield into a different creature that's on the battlefield. Thanks, Iwookies. Thank you so much. Hmm. I don't love any of these pairings, to be honest. But maybe the Frostbite pairing? Or Karma? Or Karma just gets you a lot of spells. And I Ionia is a, an aggressive... Um an aggressive region and so putting the aggressive with like this kind of stuff is probably good okay yeah so that, that's how that would work votes are even votes are split between these two <clears throat> karma is great value and shadow isles can help with control stuff that's what i was kind of thinking yeah, this is a great value card, and we could kind of sit back and try to play a value, like a, a longer value game with with this, like kill our own stuff. I could see that working well together, and you just want to play a long game. I could see that working. But if we get Ash, we could do Freljord, Frostbite plus Challenger. Does this have Challenger? Shadow Isles? Yes, it does. Because Thresh has Challenger. Hmm. All right. Well, we did we did Ash like yesterday or the day before. We did Ash the day before. I've never done Karma, so I'm going to take Karma because I've just never done Karma. So I'm going to do that. Okay, Thresh, Thresh is the only challenger in there. Yeah, exactly. You get free spells every single turn. That's that's pretty good value. All right, we got Inspiring Mentor, which has been nerfed, but it's still a good card. And Shadow Shift, which I don't love Shadow Shift, but it's fine. It's I got, you know, one's a, a good trick. We could take an Ancient Crocodile to play me Kill Two Allies and a Cursed Keeper. So we could just go on the Sacrifice Our Own Stuff plan. Or we go Fresh Offerings. I don't like this card, honestly. So if, if three of our creatures die, then we can spend three mana and we get a 6-6. Six, six. Uh, that's just kind of hard to do. But then Glimpse, Glimpse Beyond's a good sacrifice thing. I think maybe we take the Cursed Keeper. I did not change the FPS options. I was, I'm keeping on the 30-60 for a little bit. Do you think I should change it or anything? Thanks, Vimeo. And Esens, hey, thanks, thanks for the happy birthday. Um, all right, looks like everybody says like the votes are all going crocodile cursed keeper. All right, we'll we'll take the cursed keeper because we need you know we have different sacrifice things, but we so we need the things that we want to sacrifice. 
All right, I'm not taking this first one. I just, I don't like going three regions. So that's a different region. So we're going to be taking one of these two. So we can get the Life Blade, which has been nerfed a little bit, and a Will of Ionia, which is fine. Or a Deny, which has also been ner nerfed, and a Will of Ionia. Ugh. I don't really like either of those, honestly. I don't really like e I don't like any of these. Okay. So I should change it to 60. Ugh. So I should change what? Video to 60. Done. All right, most people are voting for this one, and I kind of think this one too. I either way, you get a Will of Ionia. So, do you want a Deny or a Life Blade? And I just don't think this is really a Life Blade deck. At least it doesn't doesn't really seem like a Life Blade deck. So I'll just take the Deny. Mommy, thanks for reseven. Thank you, thank you. I mean, yeah, the change, like, how do I feel about the changes? I mean, I've only been playing the game for, like, five days now, so I'm basically all for any change. You know, I don't know. Like, I don't, I'm not going to say I'm against anything right now, you know, so I, I haven't played about or anything. Uh, I read through their patch notes, and they seemed like they, um, you know, like they had a, a good, they had a lot of stuff to them. Like, you know, they had good reasonings behind everything, so they thought about them a lot. Yeah, we probably just need all the Curse Keepers, don't we? Because we just want to sacrifice stuff. So whenever an ally dies, refill your spell mana. That's pretty sweet. And re refilling your spell mana to go along with Karma, that sounds pretty awesome. So I like this first one. Um, mentor, Recall, Snapper, Mentor. Those are both fine, but I think we just want the Curse Keepers. <clears throat> All right, we could take a Crawling Sensation. If an ally died, make two Spiderlings for one mana. And a 3-2 Fearsome for two. Pretty strong. We get a Solitary Monk and a Zephyr Sage. I don't know if I like that one too much. Or a Skilled Snapper and a Will of Ionia. I'm not really liking this Karma, like these Iona cards with our with our deck. I guess, well, I'm going to take this one, I guess. We really didn't get a good second champion to go with our Thresh deck, honestly. Another Cursed Keeper and another Tortured Prodigy. I guess we're just probably just going with that. Um, Vile Feast is really strong, though. I mean, we could. This is kind of goes more Spider type, but that's that's not too bad. Snapper and Will, but we probably want this one. Awesome call. Thanks, thanks so much for the sub there, call. That's our fifth sub of the day. No, it's not. It's our second. <laughs> I didn't update that from yesterday. There we go. Second. <laughs> Thanks, Kyle. All right, well, let's just keep taking Curse Keepers. And yeah, the votes are kind of split between these these two. I'll take. I'll just take another Curse Keeper. So we want more ways to sacrifice. So Glimpse Beyond is awesome, and then Vile Feast is good. So this one looks really good. Um, Oh, that's also Glimpse Beyond, but then we can have Black Spear. Black Spear is really strong, too. Hmm. So they're both Glimpse Beyond, which is awesome. We could take Vile Feast, drain one, and then make a 1-1. One, one. Or if something died, we'll, we deal three. Hmm. Looks like people like the Black Spear more. No, that's the thing about Karma. You don't need more... You don't need spells for Karma... Karma just makes spells for you, right? Create a random spell in hand. You just get random spells from Karma. So you, you don't have to... Basically, you don't have to have additional spells to help Karma at all. The level up is just... Um, hey, good brother. Thank you so much. The level up is just... You know, you have... Basically, you have the 10 max mana. Whenever you have that, then Karma levels up. But then, I guess, whenever Karma's leveled up, then it says whenever you play a spell, cast it again. But... Karma just makes the spells for you, so. So you're probably good. But yeah, let's do let's do this one. Alright, we're gonna take the black spear. Alright, we get another glimpse beyond. 
and a Mist Wraith. When I'm summoned, grant other allied Mist Wraiths everywhere plus one plus zero. Okay. Give an ally Elusive and a Conspirator. Conspirator doesn't really work in our deck that well. Yeah, we're not really a Conspirator deck. I think we just take another gl Glimpse Beyond. Oh, she no longer makes spells at 10 mana. Oh, because whenever she flips, there's no end of round, create a spell. Oh, okay. I never really realized that, to be honest. Okay. Well, I shot you a message on stream. I was Diamond 1 in Arena Constructive, but now I can say I hit Mythic. That's awesome. Good job, Call. You hit Mythic? Way to go. Hey, Wanderer, thank you so much. Also, yeah, Texas is treating me great. Love being here. We got like the new desk set up and everything. Uh, you know, new house. Life's good. First ever mythic. That's awesome. Yeah, good job. All right, we got Soul, Scor Soul Gorger with Life Steal and Scribe of Sorrows. When I'm summoned, create a copy in hand of an ally that died this game. It's not too bad. Fresh offering. And Glimpse Beyond, um, Spirit's Refuge, and Will of Ionia. Hmm. I don't really love any of these, honestly. We kind of need start need to get more units. Maybe maybe we take this one over here. I don't know if this Soul Gorger is that great, to be honest. Scribe of Sorrows can be good. It's basically three mana, two, three draw card, as long as something has died. Thanks, Blue Jin. It is that is true. You, you do get ten ten power and toughness for six mana. It's just kind of a a weird I mean it, it basically it's gonna battle with something and stay alive. Like if you know there's not many things that deal seven damage, it's probably staying alive and you gain the life. And if we're trying to kind of play, if we're playing like a longer value game, this helps us stay alive. It's a good blocker and everything. Oh my gosh, Veer Day with the tier three sub. Y'all get some hype in the chat. Thank you so much, Veer Day. You are amazing. Thank you, thank you. Um. Yeah, the votes votes are kind of low on this one. So people aren't exactly sure where to go. This one has a little bit more. I like. Do we want three glimpse beyond? Basically, maybe. But then fresh offerings. I don't, I'll, we'll, let's try this out. Let's try the soul gorger. I've never played this card before. I've never played either of these cards before, honestly. So let's try them out. So uh, yet another glimpse beyond, and a, another scribe of sorrows. A Recall and a Shadow Assassin. I do like the Shadow Assassin. That's definitely a good card. Um, you know, Recall, you know, it's basically just unsummon your stuff. That can, you know, they use removal on your thing. You put it back. That's that's not a bad, that's not a bad, um, not a bad one here. All right, and then we have the one mana 1-1 one, one, that whenever it dies, you get a, sump, a Spiderling and a Arachnid Horror. That, that works pretty well in our deck too, though. Especially like this one mana 1-1 one, one that dies, you get a Spiderling. That's a good card. All right, looks like we're getting more votes for this third column. Those are both, those are two good options. This three, three, two fearsome is pretty good too, though. All right, let's go with this. Basically making just a Shadow Isles deck, <laughs> as you can see. All right, uh, create a random spell in hand, or if you're in Lion, create two instead. You get a Kinku Lifeblade. Possession, steal an enemy follower this round. That card is really powerful. That card's really powerful. And then Scribe of Sorrows, when I'm someone creating a hand and ally, it's already died. Or the Undying. Ooh, that can work really well for sacrificing stuff, though. And Curse Keeper, which also works really well sacrificing stuff. Probably want to go this last round, this last one. Yeah. Like, these are both just things that you want to sacrifice. So let's go with this. Thanks, Nordba. We need more more thing more ways to sacrifice our creatures. 
All right, so we got a Cursed Keeper and a Haunted Relic. I don't like this Haunted Relic, like, at all. But there is a Cursed Keeper. There's a Black Spear and a Mist Wraith. Do we already have... We have one Mist Wraith? So, yeah, get... You know, more and more Mist Wraiths are good. Or a Crawling Sensation and a Hapless Aristocrat. Hapless Aristocrat's definitely good. And Sensation's not bad, either. I kind of think this middle one, Black Spear, we can use as removal. And then Mist Wraith goes here. Yep, everybody's voting for the middle one. All right, we almost got our deck. These are our last two cards for now. Pos uh, basically two removal spells, uh, Possession and Vengeance. A couple removal things. A Wayfinder and a Conspirator. No. A Brood of Awakening and a Hapless Aristocrat. Eh. I guess we're just going to take the removal spells, Possession and Vengeance. Yep, that's people going for too. All right, uh, we can trade a Horror for a Spirit's Refuge. I don't hate that trade. Spirit's Refuge is a nice trick. Mist Wraith for Phantom Prankster. Whenever another ally dies, it does one da deals one damage to them. Or Tortured Prodigy for Hapless Aristocrat. Hmm. I kind of want more creatures that make us sacrifice creatures, honestly. That's what I want. More ways to kill our own creatures for value, but none of those do that. I may skip the trade. I don't know if... I don't know if I want to do, like, any of these, really. I don't think this card is, like, that great. The Prankster... Yeah, we missed the Butchers. Yeah, we didn't get any... Yeah, the 0 mana 3-2 sack of creature. We missed... Yeah, we need those things. I think I just pass on all these. The last trade is great. Get this other hapless aristocrat. I don't have, like, that much of a... Okay, I got two Torture Prodigies. Okay, I got two of them. All right. Yeah, I'm, I'm talked into this this last trade. Because we got two of them. Okay, well, I don't... I don't love our deck. Um, I wonder if maybe trying to go with the, the Frostbite stuff would have helped a little bit better. Karma didn't seem to... to pair very well with Thresh. All right, I'm replacing this. Um, I want to keep Karma, and obviously I want to keep the Cursed keep Keeper. It's just like, are we actually going to have something die to be able to use the Black Spear? We may not, unless we go find other stuff. So we attack turn one, turn three. Like our stuff are like two drops. They had nothing either turn, huh? If they're just gonna, if they're gonna sit back, if, like. Best case for me is they just sit back and have a bunch of removal. Because I, I would love them for them to use removal on these things. Like, these things are just stuff I want to die. Wow, well, like... And Fiora is something that you want to kill stuff. And they still don't even block with Fiora. Really? They could have just blocked. They could have done like the block and tough. They just completely wasted that spell. Uh, 
All right, so these are gonna strike each other. This will be quick. So I'll let that happen. Fiora levels up. Oh, but Fiora's tough. I was gonna kill Fiora with this, but Fiora's tough. I forgot about that. <clears throat> All right, so gonna kill that thing. So if yours killed three things, if it, if your kills four things, I die. They just win the game automatically. But now that's gone. So this is looking looking good for me right now. Attack. <laughs> you are correct, Photon. It has been asked three hundred times. Um, what is the thing? Life steal and tough. If now I died this round. Oh, this. Oh, it has just a barrier because of. There is so, life, so. Um, but no, not not really, Photon. I'm, I'm just loving this game. This game is just awesome. Smell that? I want to give it more of a shot and see if it really catches on more. Okay, so you can give something plus one, plus one. Oh, I should have gave it to the Conspirator, shouldn't I? <clears throat> That's actually kind of a good combo. I could have gave it to the Conspirator and then have the Conspirator recall you will be that thing. This land. They just gave it a barrier this round? Does it have, like, lifesteal or anything? They didn't, they didn't do the support thing right. I, mean, I think we just got this game. Oh, that card is busted. They're at six. I will attack. We have a deny also to protect if they have some kind of year. spell. Um, these two things strike each other. I'm going to give this plus three, plus three, and a fairy ephemeral. Oh, ephemeral means it dies before it's... It strikes again. It, it just strikes the one time. Right. It doesn't just die at end of turn. Oh, well. Still one. All right, so we need to spend 18 spell mana. You can now add another champion to your deck. Oh, it doesn't just go straight to this this screen and wanted you to go to another screen. Okay. Uh, so we can add another Thresh and then an Ethereal Remitter, kill an ally to summon a random follower from any region that costs two or more. That card's awesome. 
and Brood Awakening, which I, I don't love this Brood Awakening, but Thresh and Ethereal Remitter, especially the Remitter. Remitter is awesome. Um, or we could go Callista, which is also very good. Callista works perfectly with these Cursed Keepers, turning them into three ones and everything. A Rekindler, when I'm summoned, revive the strongest allied champion. That's also just fine. And then another Glimpse Beyond, another way to sacrifice. I think I want to go with this, this last one, this Afterlife. What's up, Nimbus Maze? Yep, everybody's voting for this one, too. Yeah, Rekindler is awesome. Callist is awesome. Let's do it. Total wins one. Oh, we got a reward? What do we get? Ooh. We got a capsule and a bronze chest. We got a lot of rewards over here. Oh, because we're in a brand new section. Yeah, exclusive shot. Just change, changing games for a little while. Whoa, that cap that was an epic capsule. So we got two commons. Conspirator, that's a great common to have, even constructing everything. Two rares. Um, hmm, I haven't seen that Cloud Drinker before. That card looks pretty cool. And an Epic. It's a good capsule. And now a Bronze Chest. We got two commons and 87 shards. Which 87 shards is like 8.7 cents. <laughs> But it adds up. Ten shards is like a penny. <clears throat> All right, so we have Pretty good hand. We'll put the possession back because it costs five. Oh, that's good. The croc. That's an egg. Did it move? The croc's good. We just get to curve out here. One, two, three, four. I'm on it. Wow, did you see that? I must get out of here. So it's pretty good whenever that summon refill that spell mana. Break their spirit and their spirit. Challenger. All right, so that thing's just going to kill my Mistwraith. And I'm just going to let it. Did that sound right? Oh. They're killing the 1-1. One one. Okay. Challenger is a really powerful mechanic. So they got their spell mana chilling over there. Soldiers to me. All right, we're going to kill the spider. And of course, our 2 2 that comes back now is a 3 3. Each time it dies, it comes back as a bigger creature. Ooh. Glista's interesting. Oh, if 
mushrooms could talk. No, that's, yeah, no, that's perfect. Okay. Um, I've got five mana. All right, exclusive shot. What is this? An ally captures a unit. Okay. So I need to use removal on this 3-3 to get my, to get my thing back. So I'm gonna just, I'm not gonna spend this three mana, I'm gonna just bank it. And I can bank it and use this vengeance. I guess I could have still, I would have only banked one. I still would have had seven if I would have just used this glimpse beyond last turn and turned this into a four four. I just don't want to waste all the mana, of course. And I, I guess so now... I can... Vimeot, happy birthday. Thank you so much. And King Schmoo, thank you very much, too. Um, so I could have saved that two mana to use the next turn. Or use it right then. But now I don't have to worry about Callista or Thresh dying. Because whenever they die. I get to revive them. I assume that means like whenever they're dead. You know like it doesn't really say exactly what revive means. But I assume that means that whenever they're dead. You play this and they come back onto the, onto the battlefield. That would be my assumption. Which I don't really have anything in my hand that tussles with Garen, though. I mean, I have that seven-seven in play, but that's it. What's our name again? <laughs> okay, yes, but they don't get the ETB effects because right, because they're not being played. Well then, let's get let's get Thresh out here. I demand satisfaction. No 
Hey, say more. Taking seven. We're still at four. We're not dead yet. Oh, we got some puff caps. We have three puff caps and we drew one. Unlucky. We burn, then kindle a new. Oh no, I'm sorry, Vimeon. No, I didn't change the deck tracker, but no, that's great that you can see the, the cards by mousing over. That's great. This thing's a 9 6 now. Not for the cards in hand. Oh, that's yeah, that's unfortunate. That's like where you kind of need them because they're because you can't see them. We basically just have the one card left. Have much stuff. Ugh, I'm at two though. Oh come on! No. All right, we're gonna sack this. Draw two. Hope we draw a counter spell. I don't know if we can even draw a counter spell and then keep responding. I think they just it just lets the stack go. I was pretty unlucky with those puff caps. You know, we had like twenty eight cards and three puff caps, and drew some puff caps. Resume trial. I don't like this extra click OK to resume trial. I guess it they may not want you to go with it immediately. Perfect. We need Ravenous Butcher to play me, kill an ally, zero mana, three, two. Kill an ally, that is a great card for our deck. Um, otherwise, we can get the Harrowing, though. This is an epic that costs 10 mana. So what does this do? Revive the six strongest units that died this game and grant them Ephemeral. Well, I mean, if we have, like, three things out, then you only do three things. I think we just want to take this Ravenous Butcher. Um... Yeah, we just we just want this Ravenous Butcher. All right, we can't lose again. Yeah, I know it's not only your units. It's just like, yeah, it's the six most powerful things that have died this game. But... All right, uh, let's kind of send it all back. I'm going to send these three things back. I'll keep this glimpse beyond. Yuck. Now I don't even want this glimpse beyond. Get a one drop. Must be nice. This could be a quick... Expedition for us. If we lose this. Wow, these are not good cards. This mulligan. That egg. Did 
Did we move? Bunch of fives and sixes. We're gonna have lots of spell mana. I must get out of here. <laughs> the only thing I can play is this thing that would normally draw us a card, but we haven't had anything die. Yeah, we definitely bricked this game, that's for sure. Stay safe. I'll take it from here. No place for the kind. And they did not break this game. All right, well, they got a whole bunch of one ones. I'm, I'm sure there is Rex. I, don't, I just don't know what it is right now. Yeah, I don't. I'm not an, an expert on, on the game yet. <laughs> don't want any trouble. Guess we'll give this lifesteal thing plus three plus three. And the next turn try to play a six ten life linker. That's pretty big. Yeah, that could be awesome. <laughs> yeah, if it gets removed, we are gonna cry. What? They killed the 4-4? Four four? Wait, what does this do? They, oh, they cost two more. Oh, they're not, not... They're just a random thing that cost two or more that cost two more. Well, that thing's big. Hey, Kitty Dexterity. Thank you, thank you. Don't kill this. I cannot be sated. Don't do it, opponent. Don't kill it. Don't do it. No. No. Uh. Well, darn. Please, I have connections. I just can't, I'm not really going to be able to stay alive, am I? I 
I guess I'm... I guess maybe. You call that sneaky? All right, I'd have the mana for vengeance. We're good. Okay. It's not the worst for me. No, I wanted the lifesteal guy. I was hoping to play this and get the lifesteal. Alright, so how are we going to do this? So five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, I need nine mana. We have eight, so I can go four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Well, that was a quick board of four fours. So I can attack and let them block with a bunch of stuff, but then they get to play other, you know, like their other stuff in hand. Their board is just full right now. They don't get to play other stuff. Um, so it's possible that's not good for me to do that. I, I of course, can Black Spear. I can kill this thing. But that's not really that scary right now. Yes, I'm not going to play the Curse Keeper. I'm going to just bank this mana. So it's. I'm just going to end the round because then they just waste all that mana. Because if I go to attacks, they get to use all that mana and everything. But, you know, like they have to pass to me, so they pass to me and I just. I just do that. All right. <clears throat> so now they, yeah. So now they just want to clear the board and you know be able to play all their stuff. So we just got all this stuff on like the blocking part and not on attacking part. Um. Ooh, we got the, the life steal. Yeah, we're in it again. For the thrill of battle. For the thrill of battle. See ya. Lady Elise, where are you? All right, so they can block one thing. They're going to take 4, 8, 11, 14, 16 damage. Swingsies. Do we win? You have to get me out of here. Oh, no, they have an instant. No, we don't win. Can I 
Okay. Um. So they're gonna kill this three one, which I guess I'm just gonna let them do. I could obviously I could could sack it, but I I would rather sack like this, this cursed keeper or the undying. Either one. Because like it, this is just a card that I want to get. I'd rather have a four four than this one one. Eight four overwhelm. Yeah, that, that, that was kind of my plan, was just to buff the Undying and play the Undying and play both of these. And then I could kill the Undying also. Perfect. But I'm kind of a little bit more worried about surviving, DBH. All right, so I hope they play like another creature pre-combat because I have I'm filled up, so they can play like a creature pre-combat. Oh wait, but then can I? Oh, I can't play if I have six allies already. No. No. My plan it went awry. I shouldn't have played this thing. Should have stayed at five. I know that's why I wanted to steal on this turn. This this would have been the perfect time to steal. Like that this would this card would have been amazing to play right now. But I should have I should have read the card first. You know, can't play if you have six allies already. I should have read that. I played too fast. Wow, we went from like we're winning a little bit ago to now we're losing. So now I'm going to make sure that I can play this. So obviously I could just go straight to attacks. Um, I think it's worth it to play this, though. Oh, wait. Oh, you can't target Trindamir with this? Oh. Follower. Can't take champions. So I should attack it instead of wind yeah. Instead of wind's breath. I don't know. Is wind's wind's breath thing that does like two damage to everything? It would still kill their Trindamore, right? Because they'd have to block my 5-5. Five five. Oh, they'd just a good fight, my attack to one to all battling no units. No 
Boom! Wow, that was close. See, that's why this game is just awesome. Just so many good back and forth games like this. The games are all so close and so fun. Just so intense. It's an intense game to play. Uh, I am not... Ooh. I don't want to trade Ravens Butcher, but Ancient Crocodile... Crocolith is awesome. That's rough. I could trade Jeweled Protector for Black Spear... Or trade the Horror for Glimpse Beyond. Oh, man. Why did they got to tempt me with this Crocolith? And <laughs> trade to more... Liz and Feljord. I don't know. How am I supposed to... It's not Trindam Trindamore? Take the glimpse? I don't know. We already got three glimpses. I kind of like the creature. The 3-2 Fearsome. We already got three glimpses. Do we want more glimpses than that? Trindamir. Ah, my bad. <laughs> Not sure what happened, but happy we won. <clears throat> yeah, we barely got there. What's up, Storm? Thank you so much. All right, what are, what are the votes saying? I kind of want to do no trades. I'm kind of leaning that way. I'm kind of leaning skip the trade. Votes are pretty even, a little bit more towards doing the middle than skipping. So are y'all not worried about having too many Glimpse Beyonds and just not having creatures to sacrifice? I'm a little worried about that. I'm going to skip the trade. No, it's okay. No, yeah, no, keep telling me how to pronounce stuff so I can get better at it. I changed my avatar for the kitty cat now. It says Catastrophe. Thanks, Earwig. Thanks, thanks for stopping by. And I'm I'm sorry it doesn't, but yeah, thanks for stopping by, Earwig. So if you know me. So am I supposed to get rid of Glimpse Beyond because I have this other combo? I was thinking no and keeping it, as you could tell. And I'm kind of glad we did. We have that. But now, ooh, we got a lot of stuff to sacrifice. Combo. So it's a, it's a two-mana card... Two mana, one, one, that whenever it dies, you make a four, four. And then this is a zero mana, three, two. And to play it, you have to kill a creature. So it's like, you know, play, sack a creature. So we sack the, the thing that would have been a one, one. So we get, so turn two, we get a three, two and a four, four that we get to attack with because everything has haste. <laughs> That is quite the combo. Oh, there was a little fella asking for me. Do, 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 do. So I can play the Undying. Um, which is kind of better than these two together, but I'm playing these two together, that I, two cards that are just fine to sacrifice, so that I get to play Crocs next turn. Necrolepsy! Find them, Thanks for the cheers, Necrolepsy. The happy birthday cheers. Thank you. So our second attack step... Um, we got... A bunch of you got two four fours and a seven seven. I guess we want to just attack with this one one. That they'll just easily block. Yeah, 
Yeah, this is this is basically exactly what we want our deck to be doing. Oh, if mushrooms could talk. Tank me out. If I had one more mana, I could, you know, kill this, draw two, and then my ally died, I kill one of these things. So yeah, they're trying to give me all these puff caps. But they're gonna die pretty fast though. That seemed like a lot of puff caps. Oh, do I have the mana? Oh, I do have the mana. I don't know. Do I have the mana? No, I don't. Why was it ask me to do other stuff? I don't know. That was weird. Whoa. That was a lot of puff caps they just gave me that I just hit. Six of them. Come on. I'm a peddler, not a meddler. Alright, one to each. Do I get to do anything? No, I guess I I guess I'd never get to respond. Those are just both bursts. Um there's no champion that's died. Right? Like this I have to have a champion die to get bring it back, right? Yeah, we do have a lot of puff caps. We have 35. That's a good question. What if you give Katarina Ephemeral, will she die or return to hand? I would I would assume die. But I do not know the answer to that question. Okay, yeah, we need a dead one for this. Okay. Oh, maybe I shouldn't be drawing. Kill one of those. Alright, I think we're just gonna just attack in. caps just tested it she returns to hand okay good to know thanks for testing that <laughs> plant so many puff caps well i have 43 puff caps but unfortunately for them they have negative four life got the win we're three and one And just two more spell mana. 
and we get a lot more experience. Jeez. All right, so we can get another Thresh, another eph Ephemeral Remitter. This card's even better than I thought. I forgot. I thought it was just a, an ally that costs two or more, but one that costs two more. That card's awesome. And then Scuttle Guys, reduce my cost by one for each ally that died this game. I'm thinking we're taking this first one, but what do we got? Callista's pretty sweet, too. Scor Soul Gorger's kind of looked good. Rekindler, eh. Yeah, we're not doing this last one. All right, let's do, let's get another Thresh and get another one of these Ethereal Remitters because that card has been awesome. And a Scuttlegeist. Yeah, I have I have it on 60 FPS settings. Yeah. I like this little combo. Let's try this. It's a good curve. Lady Elise, where are you? Hmm. I think it's worth, like, so basically, do we just go straight to attack, or do we play the spider first? I think we play the spider first. My shield is yours. No, that was, that was bad. Oh, got punished. Now I don't get to attack. Definitely got punished there. Protect and strike. Definitely got punished. Oh, I could have attacked with the fearsome creature because they would not have been able to block it, right? Hmm. This is just not a good card to bond with. You know what? I'm drawing new cards. I need different cards. Jesus, this did not help. Our ancestors are watching. <clears throat> that did not help at all. Okay, perfect. That's that's good. Okay, so we can go here. What's that noise? Yeah, this game is very generous with the free cards for sure. And yeah, I know you, all that you said is is right. That's very good. Yeah, like the mana system's awesome. The love of how pe both players are like playing creatures and stuff. It's not just, you know, just adds so much, so much depth to the game. All right, Blade. Take care. Demacia See you in a little bit. Uh, we got five mana. I'll end you like the rest. You will come to try. Uh -oh. Justice by my hand. You have to get me 
out of here. When an ally dies, refill your spell mana. That could be good. Frostbite this enemy. Okay. Um This needs three allies to die. All right, so, okay, so new Thresh, so now Thresh is at zero out of six as far as leveling up. I wasn't sure that was good. That's how that was going to work either. I'm going to just save this mana. You know, I could play this Conspirator, but I don't really have anything I want to bounce right now. Thanks, Nugagris. Unite the Freljord. Frostbite, the strongest enemy. Hmm. Yeah, we're going to bounce the Chronicler. So Frostbite's that. So let's block here, block here, block. So wait, so this thing's going to transform after the other thing dies, and then what, turns into a 5-3? Does this, does this stay Frostbit, or does it... Does this change into a 5-3? I guess it doesn't really matter. It doesn't really change what I'm going to be doing anyway. It doesn't really matter. Our vengeance has burned long enough. Act now! Come on, let me... I get to do something, right? Okay, so that's how that works. It would have gone to a 1 3. Attack, revive the other thing, attacking, or reforge the bond. Okay. I wish I had one more mana and I could have played, you know, the Torture Prodigy. Oh. Uh, let's try this. 
this. It's possible I need to be pulling there a 6-3. That thing's just going to keep getting bigger. You would test my steel? Hey Vox Mortis, thank you. Yeah, I am. I'm gonna be playing Legend of Terra for a longer period. So much barrier stuff. Wait, why didn't their thing die? Oh, cause mine was a Oh, cause my other creature died. And then it turned into a 1-1. One -one. Okay, okay. Yeah, my opponents had a ton of faster than my arrow. I think not. Good defensive spells. All right, so I have I have a Callista in hand, and then whenever I play the Rekindler, I'm going to revive a Callista also. Obviously, I have too much stuff on the board right now. I need things to, to trade off. Yeah, and then I can I can also have Callista bind with the Thresh. Sentinels of light don't fear the dark. Oh. At your signal. Um, charge. Arrows at the ready. I just want to chump away one of these things. <laughs> Revived Callista doesn't bond. That's good to know. No, I think I just do this block. Hmm. I'll throw out one of these. Clear some more room. Maybe I should have actually just blocked with the Thresh. I guess I want this to die, the Thresh to die, so then whenever I play Rekindler, it brings back Thresh. That's pretty sweet. Surprise Senna's not even like an epic. You're not attacking. 
All right, which one of these things do I need to kill? I guess, do I need to kill Lucian now? I was planning on killing Ash, but I guess I have to kill Lucian. But then that, that, that gives these things double attack. Ugh. This is a mess. I forgot about that. When that thing attacks. I get a champion. I forgot about that. Whoa. Yeah, because this is the first time Thresh is attacking after transforming. So that, that's what's weird. It's like when it says the first time I attack this game, it means after transforming. You monster. Stay down. Ugh. I need more things to die. With these things that can't block. Swiftly now. Well, I can kill one Senna. Can I have double thresh next turn? Like, well, this, this won't revive thresh if I already revive thresh this way, right? I was actually just, I was kind of thinking about that. Oh, it still will? Because there's no graveyard, it's just, there was just something that died, so it'll still revive? Well, that's incredible. Wait, so then I want less things attacking, right? Because then I want, let's see. So I need room to revive a Thresh, and I need room for Thresh to... Will Thresh bring out another attacker? I don't know if I have another champion left. I think there's a second Thresh. Yes, you. I don't know. We're going to see. We're going to just kind of do this for science. Let's see what happens. So, yeah, now this Thresh is attacking. Okay, but then this, this Thresh, I guess, already attacked this game. So it doesn't bring out a new one. No backing down. Time is right. Strike now. I guess all that stuff was burst speed. What is what is this card that I have in hand? And why can't I play it? It's deny? Man, I couldn't stop any of that. I have a counter spell and I can't stop anything. I just got destroyed. And they have another Lucian? Holy cow, their deck is incredible. With you around. Oh, yes. 
Wow. Yeah, none of my stuff can block. Just this thing. Oh, I guess it can't block either. Never mind. Wow, I was like thinking I was doing great just just a little bit ago. Wow, like what happened? What happened? Oh, cause oh, cause uh, flipped ash says that creatures with zero power can't block, so it got frostbit, so then it can't block. Wow. Well, we hit our our quest, so we got a whole lot of experience. That's good for getting rewards. So we're going to get a rare wild card and a wild capsule. So rare wild card. And the wild capsule is just some is some wild cards. So we get four commons and a rare. <laughs> that's what we get for thinking, yeah. I was thinking we were doing good, but that's I guess that's what I get for thinking. Oh, I, I upgraded the wrong yeah, I updated the wrong thing. We're not four one, we're three two now. But we're still alive. Alright, so I can trade Karma for Elise. Okay, or I could trade Conspirator for fresh offerings. Or trade Mistrace for twin disciplines. I just feel like I need some more. I need some more uh, interaction, man. That that's that's kind of crappy that our deny didn't get to counter anything though, right? You know, like we have a deny there, uh, but didn't get to actually counter anything. Yeah, basically after after the games, they give you you like different points of the draft. You get to. You get to do trades or none, so you can kind of tune your deck, uh, which is pretty sweet. I don't have an, I don't think I have enough spider stuff for Elise. I'm gonna keep the Karma, um, Conspirator, Fresh Offerings. I'm just not, I'm not super confident we're gonna have three plus allies die that often. That often. I don't love Conspirator, but I'm gonna keep that. So this last one, I may do this last one and just trade this Mr. Eighth and get this Twin Disciplines. Giving an ally plus three plus zero, you know, like with these like Curse Keepers, stuff like that. You know, making them hit harder. That could be nice. Maybe give it, giving some one of my things plus zero plus three in combat, like a Callista. Callista just is hard to have not die. Twin Disciplines can help with that. I think I want this trick. I do like how, how good how like the combat tricks are like really important in this game. I do think that's pretty cool. No, you don't keep the cards from drafting, um, but at the end, you always get a champion whenever you draft because the cost of drafting is the same as buying a champion wild card. But you always get a champion and then plus you get, you know, more stuff depending on how good you do. Uh, we'll replace. Replace. Keep these. Yuck. Five drop, six drop. That egg. Did it move? Right, and they're on the play too, they get to attack right away. So I either play this Mist Wraith right now, or I just bank this as spell mana, and then next turn I can play the Undying, sack the Undying, and then also kill the Undying to draw two. No, because this this one, I guess we would do that the very the next turn after that, which we can kind of do that the next turn after anyway. Let's okay, so talk myself into playing the Mist Wraith. Yeah, Glimpse Beyond Undying is a nice combo. Sure.
and drown. I must get out of here. I think it's just perfectly fine to to do that trade. All right, they just get another one of those one drops. Attack. Yeah, I'm not sure why they put that barrier on Scribe, but I mean, I don't know, maybe that was like their only creature in hand, I don't know. Because yeah, that doesn't really seem like a creature to put a barrier on. Because that's a creature you always want to put, you want to play after combat. The balance requires a watchful eye. So two five support, give my ally barrier. Hey, Luto, playing a new game. Yeah, playing this week game, Legends of Ruterra. Ooh, got a second Thresh. So we got two Threshes now. These woods protect their own. Keeper, our lands need us. All right, let's see. Yep, we're going to play Thresh. I think there's a reason why I didn't want to. What does this do anyway? Thresh is the box. Deal three to each enemy that was summoned this round. That's pretty strong. I have a backup thresh, so I don't have to really worry too much about Balance tricks and everything. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, so we're just going to trade the 5 2. All right, we'll take that, we'll take that. And plus, if Thresh dies, we can rekindle it back also. So we have a, a lot of ways to kind of deal with this, this Thresh dying. Thanks, Space Ghost Gamers. Glad you're liking the game, too. Elusive? That thing's big and elusive. 
I don't like that. Let's bounce it. Then I'm going to play the this 3-3, three, three, kill this thing, bring it back, make it a 4-4. Four, four. Oh, it, that doesn't work. Oh wait, it does work, but weirdly. Whoa. Yeah, science. So it does come back as like the four four at end step, but you get a you get a new copy also. That's crazy. Thresh needs two more units to die to, to transform. Ready, willing, and learning. Um <laughs> I need I need yeah, I need more ways to kill my own stuff. Honestly. That's all I need right now. I don't know, I guess I give this spider plus three plus three. Need more stuff to die. Yeah, I know yeah, I know I can kill my opponent's stuff too. So I guess I can, you know, use this. I don't know what this attack's about, but I love it. Yeah, I don't know exactly what that was about. But I'm a fan. Do they have... Oh, do they have Wrath of God? They do have Wrath of God. That's fine. Yeah, there's there is a Wrath of God in the game. It costs nine mana, and it's available in Shadow Isles, the green color. Shadow Isles has it. That egg, did it move? Yeah, yeah, that that's definitely a, a problem. Sometimes you can't advance your board because you have too much stuff. Yeah, that, that's so that's something you need to kind of play around a little bit. They surrendered. Yeah, like these these undying creatures just come back bigger. So even though they they wrath of God, we get to bring them back bigger. All right, we're four and two. All right, so now we get to swap another card if we want. All right, so we can swap a mist wraith for a wraith caller. Ooh, that's just an upgrade. Because this... Oh, it has to have Allegiance. But it's basically always going to have Allegiance in our deck. So it's going to be a 4-3 that also brings the Myth Race with it. It's like, that's definitely a good upgrade. What else do we have? We have Torture Prodigy. Trade that for Warden's Prey. Last Breath. Create in hand another Last Breath follower from any region that costs 3 or less. That's actually pretty good. That's not a bad trade. Or we can trade the Chronicle of Ruin for Glimpse Beyond. No, definitely not. Ruin is awesome. I think I want to do just this first trade, though. Just trade a Mist Wraith for a Wraith Caller. Wraith Caller is... That's really good. 
Because, you know, it's just a, a four mana, four three plus a two two. I'm going to do that trade. Facing Timo. Timo and Elise. Those don't really seem to go to what that great together. That's good. Good curve. Keep her into Cal Callista. Oh no, they have turn one Timo. No, that's. That's definitely the most difficult never know what hit him. ways to beat Teemos when they have turn one Teemo. Oh. You know, the one one elusive every time it hits me. Get these poison things. They got a. Just the perfect Teemo start is that one drop. That's the two drop. Hmm. Should I put this on the the six four maybe? I guess I want to see allies die. Hey, what's up, boot? Put it on the 4-4, four, four, make it a 6-4. Hmm. We we shall no, I'm going to do it this route. So basically, the, the two power bonus isn't going to really matter. Wow, then the puff caps, so they got the they have the perfect curve. Ooh, we'll attack for seven. Oh, Crocs. I don't have the... I don't want to kill my Callista. We got a second one of those two. It's going to transform Teemo. I need to kill this Teemo. I don't like my chances here. Callista, what? So it's 5-3. Gotta do this before they... Ugh, before they double the puff caps. I got 34 puff caps now. damage happens now this is only a one one uh, 
You have to just keep on trying to race. Ooh. 2-2 two, two lifelinker with evasion that can, you know, can block Teemo. Alright, got the one puff cap. That's not too bad. Yeah, that was a good that was definitely a good one. Uh when we play an MTG again, I don't I don't know, honestly. I don't know. Um I, yeah, I, I need more allies out here. <laughs> I need I need more room. So I can kill something and draw two. Oh, you think? Oh, I should have. Oh, that's that would not have been a bad play to steal their Teemo and then glimpse it. I didn't. I didn't really even think of that play. That's yeah. That's definitely what I should have done. No, that that was a, that would have been a good play. Yeah, that would have been a good play. I didn't really consider it to be honest. Oh right, you can't steal champions. Right, you can only steal followers. So yeah. So no, we couldn't do that anyway. That's it. That's the card that I wanted to find. I was gonna. I was doing this route to maybe see if I could find a black spear. Perfect. More for my collection. Cute to go. That was the card I was hoping to find. We had I think we have two of them in the deck. <clears throat> Stop. Okay. Take two. We're at seven. Attack. Bunch of big creatures. The thing is, none of my creatures die, so I can't play new creatures. I guess one this one creature is not gonna die. That thing's gonna die. That thing's gonna die. All right, we got more room. So much room for activities. Um. So yeah, let's go. I guess I can't. I don't have the mana to play the Undying plus Aristocrat plus. Croc Crocolith. Let's just play this thing. Let's just see what we get. Another keeper. Yeah, so I decided to just play the Sar to see what we got. And I'll save the spell mana instead of using my last slot on a one one. Stop giving me these puff caps. But plus three plus zero on the life linker, that could help. That could be yeah, that could be big. No one knows these streets like me. Create this thing, grant an ally elusive. Alright. 
Timo. Ugh, I want to steal this. I just kill the two three. Gonna kill the two three. That thing elusive. So still going back down to six. I got some extra room to play some more stuff. Where are you? Yeah, Runeterra is really tough, honestly. Yeah. Oh gosh, Thresh is awesome. Hmm. Now I wish I didn't play that 1-1, one, because one, I want to... Oh, I don't have 10 man anyway. I can't Thrush and Possession. All right, if I attack out, they have to block here at 4, 7. I mean, that's lethal. Okay. Awesome. Victory! That was close. They had their best turn one, two, three, but I had a really strong hand too, so those are just back and forth. All right, so I can trade the deny for a grasp the undying. I think I may want to do that. The de not, this deny has not looked very good. And it's not as good in limited. And grasp is just, you know, it's deal three, you gain three, but it costs five mana. It costs a lot, but. Um, otherwise, I could trade the Twin Disciples for an Oblivious Islander. That's actually not bad. That card's not bad, but I actually really like this Twin Disciples. I think we need combat tricks, honestly, so I don't want to do that. Or I could trade Jewel Protector for Vengeance, which maybe I should do that. Because I do kind of need more spells. I kind of have too many creatures. Ugh. Grass is really good. Yeah, yeah, actually, let's take Grasp instead of Vengeance. It costs two less, but it drains. I think I'm going to take this Grasp. Yeah, Grasp is also a spell. Yeah, pr Protector just got buffed, so it's a 4-4 it's a four -four now. So, if I, so you know, it's a, it can definitely tussle better, you know, being a 4-4. Four -four. So Protector's fine. Let's do this one. This Deny hasn't been great. Dun, dun, dun. 
It was already a little sketchy in limited, but then costing four mana now for a sometimes negate. Like we lost that la that that one game that we lost against the Frostbite deck, we would have won if if our deny was a was that five drop instead. Uh, get rid of five drops. I mean, this is a really good four drop, but it's still just a four drop in the opener. I'm just gonna shuffle it back. And yeah, yeah, we already do have one vengeance. Don't have anything that... Our deck's definitely the best against slower removal heavy decks, which I don't think that's what my opponent's doing. Lucian is the opposite of slow removal heavy. <laughs> I've always got your back. Don't worry about me. So we get to kill that, draw two. Mr. Chance to run. Man, I need to Ugh. Can I kill this and let Lucian flip? How do you beat Lucia into Senna? How does anybody ever beat this? I guess the answer is to not not do anything about him and just try to race him, I guess. Yeah, Thresh can kill Lucian later. We need to kind of wait a little bit. I wish everything in our hand didn't cost five. We have five five drops. That's Stay really back. unfortunate. Doug Wizard, thank you so much. Saying happy birthday. Thank you so much there, Doug Wizard. They're as good as you're dead. amazing. You're adorable when you're angry. I was gonna kill the Lucian and we we're gonna be good, but now if I kill Lucian, now a new Senna is gonna flip. It's kinda weird. They get to play a creature before I get to play a a fast spell after combat. It's a little weird. Yeah, I mean, I guess we still have to kill Lucian. I four challenger last breath create an elite in hand. Wow, that card's strong. My opponent is not messing around over here. This is, yeah, same deck as before. Yep. You think I should have stolen the other thing? If I would have st stolen the other one, they wouldn't have been able to attack with the challenger. I guess that's definitely true. Don't come one step closer. You're already mine. I 
They can't challenge her must buy to. Another day, another month. Another Lucian? Not a problem when you're by my side. Yeah, I don't I don't I don't expect us to win this one. They're definitely they definitely have a trick also. Like this isn't gonna work. Like, there's no way this works. Probably the, give the two things plus three, plus three, yeah, back to back. Yeah, I mean, that's just lethal. Blade, I am 34 now. Alright, swap out a new card. So we can swap out a Thresh for an Elise. No. Thra swap this Grasp that we just got for a Shadow Flare. Grant all bo battling followers ephemeral. That sounds pretty sweet. That's all of ours and theirs. That sounds very good. Or we get... Oh man, or this last trade's also very good too. But I think this Shadow Flare can be a huge blowout. I think we want the thing that can be a huge blowout. And our stuff wants to die anyway. We're going to take the card that can be a huge blowout. We're not out of it yet, of course, because, you know, you, gotta, you have to lose twice in a row. So basically any more losses no matter what. Yeah, any more losses no matter what we're out. So we got to win two before we lose. Now, oh, I don't like our this opponent's deck. It's like the same deck. Zed and Lucian. Dude, those cards are awesome. I don't like it. All right, drop in five six six. Thanks, Barfman. My training is unconventional. All right, we'll play our fearsome three, two, our fearsome three, two. Don't have Lucian, please. Yeah, they were, they were definitely, yeah, like, they, they talked about that, that they didn't want nerfs to destroy archetypes. Yeah, and everything, and yeah, exactly, this card is definitely still playable. Even though it's, it is changed and it's not as good, but it's definitely still playable. I liked their, like, on their, uh, I found, like, their patch notes that they, that they sent out. They had a lot of just great explanations about all the changes they made and everything. Don't get in my way. Lucian. They still have three mana to protect Lucian. work hopefully it works boo did not work
Yeah, the mana system in this game is amazing. What's up, Rankler? Thanks for the ha happy birthday wishes. So we can just chump we can just chump block this Lucian for a while. We can do that. That's an option. Oh, that's a good one. We can kill like our three drop and get a get a five drop. You sorry? Well, you sorry can't kill Thresh. Or can it? So should I kill the Usari or should I kill the Lucian? Neither option's bad. Like, they're both good options. Like, for me, like, they, I get to kill one of them. Kill the Usari. Because I can chump block Lucian for a while. Giving that dude a barrier. Finally, we can have peace. Everything's better with company. Says you. Hmm. gonna play this karma and try to find some spells you know like we'll just start drawing random spells maybe we find like you know start drawing some removal this is certainly getting pretty scary here uh thanks yud thank you What do we get? Create a random spell in hand. No room for doubt. I'll show you how it's done. I got nine mana. Sweet. I'm blocking with the spider and not the thing that makes a spider because I, I also kind of want to clear up my my battlefield a little bit. 
Yeah, we could have killed Lucian. I I like saving the Karma, though. The Karma getting more spells. Yeah, I could have had I could have had my three two block Lucian and then save and then kill Lucian. Oh well, that didn't go too bad for us. That thing's pretty good. I can jump that thing though. Um. Return to us. Oh, I guess I guess I should play Thresh so I could still had Will of Ionia up. Oh, they count Karma as my most powerful, not Thresh? Huh. I wasn't expecting that. Just because, you know, like, that, that's nine power and toughness total, but I guess they look at just power. What is that? Strike each other. All right, well, they, they get to gain a whole lot of life, though, from that lifesteal creature. So this is not a game that we're going to be winning anytime soon. But as you can see, we have a lot of a lot of stuff to play towards the late game. So next turn, we're going to have nine mana. So basically, do I want to play this two drop or do I want to bank the mana for Will of Ionia? So if we have nine. Hmm. I want to do this and then that. So I'm not gonna be playing Will of Ionia next turn. Stay safe. I'll take it from here. Hey, Krabby. That's my resting face. So I'm playing. I'm going to kill this rekindler to revive my karma again. Challenger. So many years, so much we can just, you know, challenger and kill the karma again. It's fine. That's a just a, you know, that's another real strong card that we traded with for basically free. So wait, it's the the four four cost six, so we can turn that into an eight cost thing. One life in exchange for another. Ah, Captain Farron. An eight eight overwhelm. It's not bad. Safeguard our citizens. Nice, they didn't hit the allegiance. So playing Thresh doesn't let let them play another thing, but Thresh is just too strong not to play. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, you're right. I should have. I did not order that right. Sneaky. I didn't think of that. I should. I needed to do this first. Now Lucian's gonna flip. Um, is that even worth it? Gonna bounce that thing. I'll just kill this thing and draw two. Hey, Mad Cow. It says, happy birthday. Yours was February 12th. Yours was just a, a, you know, just a week ago. Happy birthday also, Mad Cow. I'll bring them peace. All right, got five mana left. Let's make this Callista bigger. I know, right? Used to combat being simultaneous. That's just, you know, just another little wrinkle that you got to think about it and... Um, Got a plan for and everything. They cannot strike. This game's got a lot of those. How many Thresh, how many have you seen? You've seen five out of six die? We still have so many cards. I just have the one. Let's move. I go unseen. <laughs> Don't want any trouble. Block this life steal thing. Five mana or eight mana. I want them to play something. Darn, because then I'd bounce this thing and they wouldn't be able to play it again. If I bounce it right now, they just play it again. I guess I should have just played the Jeweled Protector on the Callista and then Callista. Oh, that's a good one. So I'm pulling this to the end of combat with the lifelink, so they have to deal with the other stuff first. And they surrender. Alright, we're at six wins. We get one shot at that final boss to get that 3,000 experience. We get one shot. We get seven card swaps. Oh no, only four card swaps. That's right, because I've lost I've lost three times. So each time you lose, you get less card swaps. We can trade Karma for Callista. That's probably a pretty good trade. 
I don't know. Karma was kind of cool. Karma, honestly, like getting us those extra spells really did help that that game. Maybe that's not a trade that I want. Um, Shadow Flare for Scuttle Guys. I want to keep the Shadow Flare. And Soul Gorger for Black Spear. Ooh. Soul Gorger is nice, but Black Spear, you know, is removal. And it's good removal, too. It's pretty good removal, yeah. I Probably this last one. Yeah, I think I want to do this last one. Yeah, the, that's how the ranking system is. If you lose, you lose points, I think. I think you go down. Not in, like, the very first iron rank. I don't think you do, but, like, for the most part, if you lose, you go down. Yeah, everybody's voting for the bottom one. All right. Let's go for it. All right, we can trade our Crocolith. No. Keeping Crocolith. We can trade Possession for Glimpse Beyond. Maybe. I don't know. We got the three Glimpse Beyonds. We have seemed like we need more. We could trade Butcher. We're not trading Butcher away. No, Butcher's awesome. I could see doing this last one. I haven't been using the Possession too much. Yeah, I think we do this middle one. Get another Sack Outlet. Yeah. All right. Yep, everybody's voting for it. All right. We got Arachnid Horror we can trade for Jewel Protector. Trade Twin Disciplines for that thing. Definitely not doing the middle. Shadow Flare for Vengeance. No, I'd rather have Shadow Flare. This is either a first or skip. And we have a whole lot of two drops. As you can see down here, they, they updated this curve so they actually tell you the numbers now. So we have 14 two drops. But we already have, we have seven five drops, and we saw that last game. We got really stuck on fives. We have a ton of fives. I don't think I want to do it. I'm going to just go skip trade. Yep, cool. People skip trade. Uh, did I? Oh, okay, no, it did. Stop, get, stop having me trade away Butcher. No, I'm not trading Butcher. Scuttlegeist? For the Aristocrat? Like, maybe. What's this? We get a skitter instead of jewel protector. Nah, I just don't have that. I don't have like the spider stuff. Um, basically, how powerful is Scutter Scuttlegeist? So, every time we have an ally die, this cost just gets reduced, right? It doesn't have to be in our in our hand, right? It just it just can be in our deck. And so, if we have like eight things die, then it's just a two drop. Yeah, trying something else out, random. This game's awesome. Yeah, so that's how that works. Doesn't have to be in hand, okay. A lot of people are voting to do this top one. Pick up this Frenzied Skitter. And get rid of a 5-drop. Because I do have a lot of 5s. I could see, I guess I could see doing that. Don't really have threes. Hey, Naismith. Thank you so much. Very nice. Thanks, Naismith. Um, all right, so am I going to do the top one or none? I've been liking this Jewel Protector. It's been really good for us. But Frenzy Skitter is, is just fine, too. It's fearsome. Hmm. Gets rid of, you know, lowers our curve. I kind of like that lower the curve thing. Can we get rid of this Tortured Prodigy and keep the Jewel Protector? No, I'm gonna I'm gonna skip. I'm gonna keep it. Final battle. Let's go, final boss. Here we go. Thanks, Shabby. 
Thank you, Shabby. Final boss time. Don't love this. Hand. Oh no. I suppose I just keep this and have the two, three, four curve. All right, so my plan is this next turn we block. They attack with their 2-2. Two, two, I block with my with this, and then I play my 3-drop, and I get to draw another one of these 3-2s. Um, Cannot add more blockers. I, I want to add this blocker. I'd wait for my turn to block. Somebody's at the door. All right, just a second. I take too long? Gosh. Man, I was This is too important. Did I what did, what did I miss? What did I miss? Did it miss a turn? Oh, thankfully. It was a salesperson for uh pest control. They gave me their they gave me their card. But they like, you know, like wanted to tell me I'm, and I was like I was like, man, I, I don't want to be rude, but I, I really have to go. <laughs> and it was like, I can't even explain. Like, I'm sorry. I don't have time. So, all right. So it looks like our Wraith Caller missed. We didn't hit the Allegiance, which is... Which is kind of odd. Like almost everything in our deck is I, I or almost everything in our deck is shadow isles. But I guess I guess we had the the shadow flare. Oh come on, it, it says shadow. That should count. Always two steps ahead. Um. I never hold back. So they're going to just try to kill my 2 3, and I guess I'm just going to sack the 2 3 and draw 2. Or 
Are they just going to pass turn? And I'm just going to waste all of my mana? Hey, munchies. Awesome, Blade. Yeah, glad you're liking the spider deck. A little surprised they wanted to do that. Drain one. Alright. I'll we'll just kill it and draw two. Yeah, they're bank they they just want to keep the spell mana. No way. Go Thresh go. Oh, this is intense. The fi this final battle always is. Seven. You know, trying to get that seven win. Oh, this is gonna. I have to do that last. Yeah, like they're definitely gonna have tricks to save. Ouch. Death by a That's a good one. Wait, does that just mean I lose? Wait a minute. I just lost the game. I forgot about that. Oh, I could have I could have not died. I could have sacked one of my creatures. No. What am I doing? I could have saved. I could have saved one of my creatures and then not died. <clears throat> no. Yeah, Thresh dies to Fiora, but Fiora would have died to Thresh. Also, Fiora has to survive. So Fiora has. Fiora says that if Fiora kills four creatures and survives, you win the game. And and so then they played a spell that Fiora dealt damage equal to her power to all of my battling creatures. So Fiora killed four creatures and survived and won the game. That was pretty epic though. That is true. That was pretty epic. Well we got a thousand XP. We got a six win trial. Ugh all of that just to win, to lose so fast. I got... Okay, hey, look at this. We got two epics, a common wild card, and a rare. Oh, this card is insane good. The Swift Foot. Was this two mana Nexus Strike? Create a copy of me in hand. Oh, yeah. That card's not bad. It's kind of slow. Dang, and we got 360 shards. Cool. Um, yeah, I got flummoxed by the, by the person that came to my door and I kind of forgot, forgot what was going on there. Dang, that was a two hour and 41 minute 
expedition. I guess six and four, we played ten matches. These that's the thing about these games, like they're kind of long because they're just so close and back and forth. And it's a good game. It's a good game here. All right, we're gonna begin another trial now. Uh, that's gonna be our next thing. Uh, those y'all watching on YouTube, I'm gonna you know just pause the YouTube, you know, get to start a new video. Um, but uh, yeah, so that was Shadow Isle. That was self sacrifice. All right, so thank you so much for watching, though, and I'll see you for the next video.